Hello everyone! In this week's video, we'll be taking a look back at the art I made in 2021. When we are about to start a new year, it can be fun to look back at what we did this year. So I thought we could take a look back at the art I created this year. So I gathered all the art I created and tried my best to sort it by date. Things might be a little out of order. <laughs> also, for the most part, I'll be excluding my sketchbook and my webcomic from this video because I plan to do a tour of my sketchbook once it's finished. And if I included my webcomic in this, we would be here for ages. <laughs> However, I will include a few things from my sketchbook and my webcomic that I have saved on my computer. Anyways, let's start looking at the art I made this year. So this is the first thing I drew in 2021. At the start of the year, I had created a kind of digital sketchbook and I would do some digital sketches and kind of save them all into one folder. And I was kind of treating it as a sketchbook. This first one, I was just kind of playing around with brushes and colors and just kind of experimenting. This one was a pose study and I decided to make it a link for some reason. <laughs> This one was also a pose study, but also kind of a fabric study. <laughs> so for this one, I was experimenting with using white on black. I remember doing this very quickly and I didn't spend very much time on it. This art right here was from the first video of the new year and I was redrawing a picture I had made the year before and I was seeing if I had improved at all. I still kind of like the water bubbles in this one. I feel like they look kind of neat. This was another thing for my digital sketchbook. I was just kind of playing around with some brushes. For this one, I wanted to draw the night sky. It was a lot of fun using the different textures and making the stars. I kind of missed my digital sketchbook. I was really good about drawing in it at the start of the year, uh, but I didn't really keep up with it as much as the year went on. For some reason, I was in the mood to draw really big mountains and landscapes. So these next few pictures are drawings of mountains and kind of landscapes. These were some drawings I did of Tales in Shadow. I was using references from the IDW comics. I really want to read more of them. I only have the first volume. Uh, yeah, because sometimes the art style is really neat. This was just a little doodle I did. <laughs> I don't really remember much. I just wanted to draw the sunglasses. For this one, I was trying to do a lineless kind of look, so I didn't use any kind of line art. I always quite like the colors of this one and how they all mesh. Uh, this one was interesting. I was just kind of playing around with a textured brush. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of curly hair, so I made the person have really curly hair. This was for the video where you give me all six characters and I have to draw them. So I drew Miku, Hop, Kenma, Marinette, Nezuko, and Diona. My favorite out of these ones I think is Kenma. I'm still kind of happy with how he turned out. This one is from when the company Parku asked me to draw something and post on social media using their markers. Uh, so I did this little drawing and colored it using their markers. These were just some kind of pose studies that I did and I like chibi-fied the pose studies. I was kind of playing around with stylization. Oh, and here's Liam. This is from when I made that dating simulator game on Valentine's Day. That video was a lot of fun and I want to do that again sometime, but maybe give myself a little bit more time so I can maybe make a longer story and maybe have multiple dating options. I had a lot of fun making that game. Oh, and here's the special illustration you unlock if you get the good ending. You don't get to see it if you get the bad ending. These were more studies I did, but instead of sketching like I normally do, I kind of broke everything apart using colors and shapes. It was kind of an interesting way to do studies. And here we have my sister's OC, Lily. I drew this as a birthday gift for my sister, Reagan. I'm still kind of pleased with how the guitar turned out. I remember working really hard on the guitar. Oh, I always really like this one for some reason. I like the contrast with the orange and the grays and the blacks. I was just kind of playing around with brushes and just kind of goofing around. Oh, so this was a commission I did for one of my viewers. It was their 10th birthday. And so their family commissioned me to make a piece for her. I really liked working on the balloons and making them shiny. <laughs> This was a drawing of Skyward Sword Zelda. I think I did this around the time Skyward Sword HD was announced and I was super duper excited. So I drew Zelda. I love Skyward Sword Zelda. She's so cute. These next couple of drawings were from an I Draw Your Gotcha character video, I think. I really liked drawing the puppy in the first one. And the second one of the mermaid is one of my favorite pictures I created in 2021. 
I'm still fairly pleased with the background and I feel like the mood of it is just like really nice and what I wanted. I feel like this picture turned out exactly how I wanted it to. <laughs> so yeah, I still really like this one. And here we have a drawing of Link. I don't remember why I drew it. I probably just felt like drawing Link. <laughs> Oh, and here we have a little drawing of my OC Pariah. I was playing around with this feature in Clip Studio Paint where you can make the brush change colors with each brush stroke. And it's kind of interesting to play around with. And this was just a random doodle. I never really liked this one. <laughs> oh, so here is a little animation I did of Doris. I was animating in Flip a Clip for the first time. It was kind of tricky animating this, but it was a lot of fun. Here's another thing from my digital sketchbook. I was kind of playing around with perspective. So like her one hand looks really big, but the other hand looks really tiny because of perspective. Uh, so yeah. Oh, and this was from an I draw your art in my style video. I really liked working on these. I do remember, I think I was sick the week I was working on these. So it was kind of tricky. Uh, but I really liked the ice on this first one and I loved drawing the horns. It was so fun. And I really liked doing the lighting of the butterflies in the second one. Oh, here's a little sketch of Wen from Raven Saga. It's a webtoon that I really like to read by Chihiro Hawe. And her character Wen is so cute. Oh, so here's the first video where I draw myself into anime scenes. This has become a series on my channel, but this was the first ever time I did it and it was so much fun. I drew myself into school babysitters club, Haikyuu, and healing good pretty cure. I remember healing good definitely being the trickiest one because <laughs> I had to draw this super detailed outfit. Oh, here's a little screenshot from my webcomic. I took this one of Brayson. I had so much fun working on these panels where I had the yellow lighting and the blue lighting. They were the balcony scenes and I loved working on those. <laughs> oh, so here's where I updated my channel art to the icon I currently have. Uh, so yeah, it was nice updating it. A part of me feels like I want to update it again, but I haven't had this current icon for very long, so I feel like I should keep it for longer. Uh, so I'll probably wait to update it. This is another little sketch that I did and this sketch actually kind of prompted a series on my channel called Drawing Whatever the Heck I Want. I thought of the idea while I was working on this sketch. Uh, but first I had a video where I drew all of my siblings as chibi characters. I had a lot of fun drawing all my siblings and stylizing them as chibis. The art for this video was I draw your characters. So there was original characters, personas, and gotcha characters. And they are all kind of in one video. I had drawn four illustrations in this video. I was able to fit four in because they were all kind of sketchy and not super finished. I think my favorite piece from this video was the one with the black and red color scheme. Here we have some drawings of my OC Chase looking kind of sad. A lot of times when I draw my characters for my webcomic, I'll draw them on their own canvas and then copy and paste them into the panels. Oh, so these next two drawings are from when I redrew art from my old how to draw manga books. That video was fun to do. I had fun redrawing the art. Oh, so these next few pieces are from the first ever drawing whatever the heck I want. In that video, I drew V. I drew a couple sketches of Zhang Li from Genshin Impact and Skyward Sword Link. And I had so much fun making all the art for that video that I decided to make that video into a series. Oh, and here's another sketch that I did that didn't make it into the video. It was just kind of a little sketch of a kind of Link, but it doesn't really look like him because I made it so rough and messy. Uh, but yeah, that's a little sketch I did that didn't make it in. <laughs> Here's another drawing of Link. Wow, we have a lot of Links. <laughs> this was one I did after the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer was released. And I drew Link in my sketchbook and there's rainbows coming in through my window. So I kind of used them to give my sketchbook a kind of cool effect. Here's an illustration I did of all my babies. We have Doris, Chase, Annabelle, and Brayson. This was actually a Patreon print that I did. I try to make exclusive art for my patrons and then I send them out as prints in the monthly mail. I had a lot of fun working on this picture. Here we have another little doodle for my sketchbook. I think I used Crayola markers for this one. Here we have the second video of me drawing myself into anime scenes. In this one I drew myself into Pokemon Journeys, Snow White with the red hair, and My Hero Academia. Oh, so this art is where I redrew my brother's art and this is of his character Titus. 
I remember Jacob really liked how I drew him and he thought he looked really cool. This is another little drawing from my sketchbook. I had grabbed a purple marker and it made me think of lavender so I kind of went with that. Like I mentioned, I'm not showing my entire sketchbook in this video. I'm just kind of showing little snippets here and there that I have saved on my computer. Oh, so this video is a lot of fun. I drew your characters, but then I turned them into stickers. And I even got to send the stickers to the viewers. I kind of want to do this again sometime. So I was making a drawing whatever the heck I want video and I made this for that video but I couldn't fit it in because I had made so much art for that video already. <laughs> I had made my own custom sparkle brush and I was kind of showing my process of making my own brush in Clip Studio Paint. I didn't get to put that in the video because of time constraints. Uh, but you can download the brush for yourself if you want from the Clip Studio Paint Asset Library. It's not super amazing or anything, but it's kind of fun to use. Oh wait, I did this drawing when they showed the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. I feel like things might be a little out of order. <laughs> so yeah, I drew this when they showed the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer and I drew his arm very wrong. It doesn't look like this at all, but the reference I was looking at was super blurry and there weren't any good pictures yet because the trailer had just came out. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> These next few pictures are from another drawing whatever the heck I want. This one is a redraw of a scene from a Seventeen music video and it was of S. Coops and he's in kind of a van with flowers all around him. I had a lot of fun doing this study. And I also made some webtoon fan art in that video. I did a sketch of John from An Ordinary and Amy from Space Boy. I also drew a Coralist from Raven Saga, but you can't really see him because I didn't finish him. Also, I'm so happy on Ordinary is back. It was on break, but now it's back, so I'm really happy. This is a little thank you drawing I did in, I think, one of my subscriber specials. I don't totally remember, uh, but yeah, I had fun drawing a little smiley Doris. Oh, I still quite like this picture. I drew this picture as a Patreon print for the Patreon Mail Club and I drew a tiny chase and a tiny bracin and it's summer and they got ice cream. I still quite like this one. I worked really hard on the background and all the coloring and shading and I feel like it turned out cute. These next two pictures are from an I Draw Your Gotcha Character video. I colored these using Arteza markers. Uh, those were a lot of fun to color. Here we have some more drawing myself into anime scenes. This time I did Sonic X, Kaleido Stage, and Sailor Moon. For this one I was drawing myself into anime that came out when I was a kid. Oh, so this was for a Parblo tablet giveaway I was doing on Instagram and it was a draw this in your style kind of thing. So I drew this picture and people had to draw it in their style. It was so much fun seeing people draw my art in their style. Oh, this was just a little drawing of Link I did to cheer myself up. Uh, and it always does cheer me up when I look at it. <laughs> oh, so these next few drawings are from a video series where I turn myself into video game characters or draw myself in the style of a video game. So for this one, I was turning myself into a Minecraft character by making my own Minecraft skin. I also drew myself as a Bug Fables character. Also, Bug Fables is so good. Go play it. <laughs> I even edited myself into a scene from the game. And I also drew myself as a Genshin Impact character. I'm an animal user from Mondstadt. These next few drawings are from another drawing whatever the heck I want. There's this one of a girl using an inhaler. And I kind of explained how my asthma was flaring up and I had to use an inhaler. And I really liked how the puff of the medicine came out the top of the inhaler and I thought it might be cool to draw so I did. I also did some drawings of Kazuha. I had just gotten him and he's so cool, so I wanted to draw him. I also drew Ayaka, she's so pretty. And I also did some little pose studies that included Kagiyama and Hinata from Haikyuu. These next few drawings are of characters I made in a video that were inspired by prompts that I got in an art box. So I made Esther and Clarence. Uh, Esther and Clarence are married and they run a cafe. I want to draw them more. I kind of forgot about them, but then I was making this video and I grabbed the art for them and I'm like, oh my word, I forgot about them and now I want to draw them. <laughs> These next few drawings are from an I Draw Your OC video. I really liked this first one of this character. I loved his color scheme and his eyes are really cool. I also really liked working on this sunset scene and drawing this more dynamic pose for this character. Oh, here we have a little chibi Doris I made. 
I was working with the company Bow Grace to make like acrylic standees and so I drew this little doors for it and the acrylic standee turned out so cute. I love them so much. This was for a video where I did the one layer challenge and I drew Link because he's very much in my comfort zone. I still quite like how this picture turned out and I feel like it turned out pretty okay considering I only had one layer to work with. <laughs> These next pieces are from another Drawing Myself Into Anime Screenshots video. This time I drew myself into Inazuma 11 because my sister really wanted me to do that. I also drew myself into one of my favorite animes, Kimini Tadoke. And many of you requested I draw myself into Demon Slayer, so I drew myself into that. Oh, also I'm holding a little Jack Jack. <laughs> He's my little brother. Oh, so this drawing was for a possible notebook design. Vogue Race makes notebooks. And I thought it was kind of neat, so I made this design. But then I saw how expensive the notebooks were and how much the shipping was for the notebooks. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should order them, so I didn't. I maybe would if I could sell the notebooks somehow, but I don't really know how I would sell them or if anyone would buy them. Uh, so yeah. Here we have another little doodle of Link. This time he is kind of wearing his soldier's armor. This was just a really rough sketch. <laughs> Oh, so this is a drawing I did for a Patreon print. It's of Faith, Chloe, and Phil. I never really get to draw them as much, so I wanted to make a print of them. Oh, so this picture was a lot of fun. My sister did a really rough, messy sketch, and I had to try to figure out what she was drawing and what I saw in the sketch. Uh, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. I saw a girl walking in the rain along with a little kitty. I remember the bushes being really tricky to draw. I had a hard time working on those, but they're also kind of fun. Oh, so I'm not sure when I drew these, but I threw these in here. These are the little chibi me's that I draw for the drawing whatever the heck I want videos. <laughs> and I had made them into stickers for my Patreon mail. I always have fun drawing the little chibi me's looking crazy for those videos. <laughs> oh, so this was a lot of fun. I drew my character Doris, but then I used the software After Effects to kind of animate it. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically I just drew all the different parts and then I can make them move in After Effects. And it was a lot of fun to experiment with. Oh, and here's another chibi me that I drew for drawing whatever the heck I want. <laughs> In this video, I drew Kokomi from Genshin Impact, Luke from Tears of Themis, and Skyward Sword Zelda again. I had just beaten Skyward Sword, so I wanted to draw a little something to kind of celebrate being the game. These next couple of pictures are from another turning myself into video game characters. This time I drew myself as a Mario character. I made myself Princess Potato, and I was the princess of the Luncheon Kingdom. I also drew myself as a Professor Layton character, and I decided I'm an accountant at the Layton Detective Agency. Lastly, I drew myself as a Fire Emblem character, and I made myself a cleric. I had a lot of fun drawing in the Fire Emblem style and designing my outfit. Oh, and I don't remember if I showed it in the video, but at first I was going to turn myself into a toad, and this was my sketch of myself as a toad. <laughs> Oh, so a few months ago, I got this game called RPG Maker, and it lets you make RPGs. So I was kind of playing around with that and making some game art for the game I was kind of working on. I haven't gotten to work on it recently, but I do kind of want to keep working on it and trying to make my own little RPG. Uh, but we'll see if I can ever find time to work on it. <laughs> oh, so this art is from the video where I drew my sister's gacha character in my style. This is her character Ian. I was using watercolors and water brush pens for this picture. Oh, so this is some fan art from my sketchbook. I drew Samus from Metroid. I was playing Metroid Dread and it was so much fun. And Samus is so cool, so I wanted to draw Samus. I never really draw art like this, uh, but it was kind of fun drawing Samus. Metroid Dread is so good. It's really hard but it was a lot of fun to play. Oh, and here's a little ghost me. This was for a Skillshare promotion, and I jump up and go boo. These next two pictures are from a video where I drew fan art for two of my favorite YouTubers. This first one was for Rinspear Art, and I drew her OC Masaki. He was a lot of fun to draw. And this next one is of Mariah Elizabeth's characters, Winnie and Wilfred. They are both so adorable, so I really wanted to draw them. Here we have another sketch of Breath of the Wild Link. I remember I was feeling annoyed for some reason. So I drew Link to like calm myself down or make me happy. I don't remember why I was annoyed, but I was really annoyed. <laughs> 
Here we have a sketch from my sketchbook is of Kazuha from Genshin Impact. He had made this kind of pose during an event where you play this harpy thing. I don't remember what it's called, uh, but yeah, I kind of liked the pose he did and the look on his face, so I wanted to draw it. Oh, so this video was a little bit different. Instead of drawing myself into anime, I drew myself into Disney movies and that was a lot of fun. I definitely want to do this again. I drew myself into The Emperor's New Groove, an extremely goofy movie, and The Little Mermaid. This picture was for a video I made on finding inspiration. And I really liked how this picture turned out and I still quite like it. It just has this feeling about it that I really like. Here we have a drawing of Brayson I did for my webcomic. He's smiling, which is a very rare occurrence. <laughs> oh, this was a little drawing I did on Halloween. I thought it'd be cute to dress up Chase and Brayson as Mario and Luigi. Uh, Brayson and Chase are stepbrothers, sort of. I won't get into it because that might spoil things. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I drew Chase as Mario and Brayson as Luigi. And it's kind of funny because Chase always wears red and Brayson always wears green. It was just kind of a fun little drawing. Oh, so these next two pictures are from an I Draw Your Minecraft Skin video. This was the first ever time I did that. So you all sent me your Minecraft skins and I drew them in my style. I had a lot of fun working on these and I really liked drawing the background in the second picture. And this was the last drawing in my digital sketchbook folder. It was a little study I did of a picture of Dogiam. It doesn't really look like him, but that's what I was referencing. <laughs> I liked how he was holding the sand and how the sand was going through his fingers. Oh, and here we have something from my actual sketchbook. I drew a bunch of little chibi elves. I always quite like the color combination of like a sky blue and an orange. Oh, so these next two projects were from a video where I was using Arteza art supplies. And this first one is a drawing of Sasha from Animal Crossing. And the second picture I painted on glass. And it's Hinata from Haikyuu. It was really tricky working on glass, uh, but it was a lot of fun and I was really happy with the end result. Oh, so this one was kind of funny. The Sonic Twitter account posted, Quick, draw Tails from memory. So I tried to draw Tails from memory really quick. <laughs> It's not perfect, but it is fairly close to how Tails looks. Also, I'm so excited for the second Sonic movie. The trailer is so awesome and it made me so hyped for the movie. Here we have some more art from a drawing whatever the heck I want video. This one is of Albedo. Also, a lot of people are pointing out that I drew the fake Albedo because I didn't include Albedo's like star sign on his neck. But if you look at Albedo, his star sign is kind of lower on his neck, so I figured maybe the turtleneck would be blocking it, but maybe I should draw the star sign peeking out. I didn't forget about it, I just thought the turtleneck would be blocking it. In that video, I also drew a bunch of silly pictures of my original characters. <laughs> I just drew a whole bunch of different kind of meme kind of things that I see online and inserted my own characters into them. I also drew some pictures in my sketchbook and these were kind of fun because I had a wheel pick what I draw because I couldn't make up my mind. So I drew Luke Guan from Link Click, Jin from BTS, and Snow from Raven Saga. This time I wasn't drawing myself into anime scenes, I was drawing my siblings into anime scenes. So I drew them into their favorite anime. I drew Joel into Pokemon, Ruth into Blue Spring Ride, and Reagan into Glitter Force Doki Doki. Kind of along with Ruby because she wanted to be a pixie. And these pictures are from a very recent video where I drew your characters. I had so much fun working on both of these. The environments and lighting were so much fun to work with. And I also really liked drawing the koi and the icicles. And lastly, we have the art from last week's video where I redrew my sister's art from description only. This video was a lot of fun to do. And I actually ended up getting pretty close to Reagan's art. So that is a look back at the art I created in 2021. I hope you enjoyed looking through the art with me. It was a lot of fun taking a look back at the art I created this year. And I'm excited to make more art in the new year. Thank you all so much for watching my videos this year. And I hope you'll enjoy the videos I make next year. Before I end, I want to thank my super amazing, wonderful patrons for supporting my work and what I do. It means so much to me. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you all next week. Oh wait, I'm actually going on a break, so I won't see you next week. I kind of want to take a little bit of time to recharge and relax and get ready for the new year. Uh, so I'll see you all then. Bye!